everyone's welcome here or welcome back. My name is Sarah and I am filming this intro at the end of what has been a long month of decluttering, cleaning, resetting and just trying to start 2024 with a refreshed, clean, tidy space. It's taken me a few weeks, I've been finding moments here and there among work, socialising, illness and a whole host of other things but I finally feel like I'm getting there. This has been on my to-do list for a long time so if you are also feeling the urge to declutter or if you have something else on your to-do list that you've been putting off then I hope that this video will serve as some form of gentle motivation and we can get these things done together. Similarly, if you would like to kick back, relax and watch me do all of the work, then you are very welcome to get yourself a nice cup of tea, cozy up and come along for the ride. So without further ado, let's get stuck in. So I'm starting off my reset with a long overdue decluttering session of my bedroom. I've been meaning to do this since before Christmas but I never got around to it and honestly the beginning of the new year is a great mental space for me to let go of things and to want a like a fresh clean slate um, and I'm also wanting to get rid of anything I don't use or don't particularly need anymore because in a few months I should, fingers crossed, be moving out of my current rental and into a new space with my partner and there is nothing more stressful than having to declutter and organize right before packing to move. I should know, it has happened to me multiple times. So if you've been meaning to declutter or clean recently and haven't got around to it, feel free to use this video as some gentle motivation to come alongside and get some things done with me. But there's absolutely no pressure. Um, if you just wanna hang out and chill, that sounds great too. So I'm focusing on my bedroom today, which is where I keep almost all of my belongings in this rental. Um, and I'm being patient with myself and also cleaning as I go. <laughs> At this point, you can probably tell from my voice, I'm recovering from being ill. Um, and I'm also just trying to focus on doing a really thorough job rather than just getting it done as quickly as I can. I didn't get to every section of the room today and that's totally fine. Sometimes when I feel like when we see these condensed deep cleaning reset sort of videos It can kind of pressure you to feel like you also have to get it all done in a day or a week, etc But um, I just want to reassure you that this process takes me a while too Okay, I'm very proud of how much I've managed to go through so far but I'm getting cabin fever. I've been stuck in the house all day and I wanna go for a walk and I don't wanna come back to the slight mess I've made. So I'm gonna do a 10 minute timer. I'm gonna do a speed tidy. And if stuff can't be put away properly, I'm gonna just put it in a bag to address tomorrow. So let's go. Good morning friends. So yesterday ended up being a very productive day. I went through almost all of my bedroom. I've still got some clothing to go through, but that's more my current clothing. So I'm not too fussed about getting that sorted as soon as possible. But today my priority has got to be cleaning mainly the kitchen and the, the living room and the floors and everything. I'm almost certain that this space has not been cleaned thoroughly for the past two weeks. I came back about a week ago, and I know from what my housemate has told me, she was really, really busy the week before that. So it's looking a little bit crusty, a little bit dusty, and I'm not feeling it anymore. So the first order of business is to give the kitchen a good scrub and a deep clean, and then I'm gonna move on to doing the floors, sweeping and mopping. We don't have a vacuum cleaner, which I know that I'm getting older when I'm looking forward to investing in a vacuum cleaner in my next flat. So if you're looking for things to be grateful for and you own a vacuum cleaner that works really well, you can add that to your gratitude list. <laughs> And then once I get that done, I need to put in another load of laundry and I'm also then gonna try and tackle 
my art area slash desk area. Um, it's looking a little bit worse for wear. The organization mm -hmm. is not how I would like it. And I just need to go through some supplies and mm -hmm. maybe get rid of or pass along certain things that I'm not using anymore. Um, and I also need to go through all my paint tubes and check that they're actually still usable because something tells me that some of the acrylic paints I've had for a long time have probably dried up by now and are just not usable anymore. So I've got a busy productive day ahead of me. If you'd like to clean along with me, feel free, maybe fold a load of laundry or do a bit of decluttering. And if not, as ever, it's so lovely to have you here. So without further ado, let's go. energy um, because sometimes you've got to prioritize energy just because you have the time technically to do something doesn't mean that you should spend that time doing that there are a few bits that I didn't get around to I haven't cleaned where I keep my books obviously I can't take down my housemates laundry or tidy hair area anything like that and um, that's just not not cool <laughs> um, uh, if you live with other people, whether that's housemates or family or children, people are entitled to deal with their own things in their own time. So you've just got to let those things go. But yeah, I haven't dealt with my books and that whole section because I haven't decluttered it yet and I just didn't have it in me. Normally I like to do any tidying and decluttering before I clean so that I can just feel like I have a fresh slate. So that's going to be a different task for another day. You, you can't see yet, but in that corner over there is my desk and where I keep all of my art stuff. And as I was saying, maybe if I have the energy, I'll start going through that today. I recently got some small drawers and I don't feel like I've organized them particularly well. I'd quite like to transfer the prints and things I have on my Etsy shop into one of those drawers. At the moment they're being stored in a box, safely in a box, but it doesn't feel very nice when I pack orders to have to kind of take this whole box out and take them out and everything. So I'm planning to go through that, reorganise stuff and yeah, we'll see. Um, if that doesn't get done today, it's no big deal. There are plenty of other days in the week, in the month, in the year, so it will get done. But for now, I'm going to make some lunch, fold my laundry, and bask in these beautiful, beautiful, clean floors. <laughs> I'll see you in a bit. So I mentioned before that I was planning to declutter my entire desk area and I have made a start doing this. I have a small chest of drawers which I managed to reorganise and get rid of quite a lot of stuff from it which felt really really good. I managed to reorganise where I keep a lot of my shop things and just go through a lot of materials that I had and rehome them, get rid of things that were no longer usable 
and I'm feeling a lot freer in that regard. There is something so liberating about letting go of things that no longer serve you and I'm by no means a minimalist but I am someone who is an advocate for being really mindful of what we need, why we need it and not having more more than that really to a certain extent. I think as well there's a lot of guilt attached to letting certain things go if something's cost you a lot of money or if someone's giving you something as a gift it feels sometimes really difficult to let things go or if something has a particular memory attached to it, whether it's good or bad, it's really knowing where the line is for you. There are a few things that I have decluttered this time that a year ago I don't think I would have been able to let go of, or it would have been extremely difficult and it kind of would have been a bit of a wound to let something like that go. Whereas now where I am, uh, in a physical and a mental place, that is such a testament to how we grow as people and evolve and what matters to us and I think that's really beautiful and being able to let go of things is a real sign that you are changing as a person and I think that is always something to be proud of. Some of the things that I've got rid of this time um, is old work, so old drawings and paintings and you know things at the time that taught me something important about my practice or about myself or was a way to work through an emotion I was feeling but they no longer serve me in this moment of time and I have to say it feels really really good to be able to let that go and not feel that attachment to those particular material things. Obviously there are loads of things that I have kept. Um, I'm a very sentimental person. I'm someone who finds a lot of joy in material goods if they are chosen carefully and they mean something to me. And in a way it's kind of allowed me to be really thankful and grateful for what I do have and kind of rediscover things that I really, really love that maybe I wasn't giving them as much appreciation as they deserved because there was too much clutter as the background noise, if you catch my drift. So I really do think there is some truth to the saying of tidy space, tidy mind, because I've been feeling like I can breathe a bit better, which is ironic, because my lungs are not doing well from having a couple of colds back to back, but in a more <laughs> philosophical sense, I suppose. But anyway, you can see behind me that I still do have quite a long way to go, so I've got some bits and bobs from the drawers which need to find a new home or need to be got rid of, passed along, etc. And I also have what I've been putting off, which is going through all of my old documents, really boring things like old tenancy agreements and bills and pay slips and statements and all of that. Paperwork that you have to be really careful about what you keep and what you get rid of and it's just, it's been looming and I'm hoping I can get to that today and just not have it hanging over me anymore. That would be amazing. So without further ado, let's get stuck in. Today's the day. I'm finally going to be tackling the wardrobe and the drawers. This is something that I have been feeling quite overwhelmed at the prospect of. I have one chest of drawers and a rack of clothing. I also have a box of jumpers and I have a, another one which I've already been through of out of season 
clothing. So that part is done. Jumpers I kind of went through but not properly and yeah we're just gonna see where today takes us. Getting rid of clothes is often quite a difficult thing for me. There's a lot of memory attached to clothing. There's a lot of shame or guilt potentially around not fitting into clothing anymore. And then there's also sometimes guilt along with kind of how much you, you bought something for or how much something is worth. But I'm gonna try and get back to a mindset that I kind of employed the last time I did a proper clear out. And that was something that I heard from Caroline Winkler, who makes amazing content on here. I'm sure many, if not all of you, are very familiar with her content. And through her videos, I was introduced to the concept of what I'm gonna call the red wine rule, which is essentially that if this item of clothing were to get red wine spilt on it, one, how upset would you be about it? And two, how hard would you work to get the stain out? Because sometimes if that were to happen, you'd feel kind of relieved to be able to have an excuse to let something go. So I'm going to try and utilize that rule again because I found it super helpful last time. I'm someone that works best by just making a huge mess and then clearing it up and putting it away. So I'm gonna go through drawer at a time, I think, and just get cracking. down because I actually couldn't lift this out which speaks volumes I suppose but this houses all my loungewear, any workout stuff I have in it, all my pyjamas throughout the year as well and apparently some masks so I better get going. Okay, that did not take as long as I thought it would. I found one thing that needs to go into summer storage and then a few things that I just want to go through and try on. I'm going to be tackling this box, which is full of my jumpers and knitwear. I also have the jumper I'm wearing at the moment and there's a couple uh, drying at the moment. So having a little bit of extra breathing room is great. I'm gonna pop in a freshly rejuvenated lavender bag. This just helps the jumpers smell amazing and also is a great natural deterrent for moths and other creepy crawlies uh, that may want to have a nibble on your jumpers. Okay, that didn't actually take as long as I thought it would. I managed to clean the bathroom and do that in the meantime, which feels really, really good to get that spick and span. And I'm starting to fade a little bit, so I'm not gonna get everything done in regards to the clothing and sorting that out. I still need to sort the donations properly and look up some different donation points, but that's a job for another day. <laughs> in the meantime today, I'm gonna do a very quick digital declutter and just go through the things on my desktop and delete things, put things on my hard drive, things like that. It shouldn't take very long. And then that is me done for the day and then I'm going to go and rest this evening and do something fun. So here we are 
at the end of this whole process. You can see behind me a small mountain of goodies that I need to go and donate now or find new homes for, as well as a significant amount of recycling. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Feel free to give it a like if you did so I know for future reference. And thank you again for spending this time here with me today. Take care and I will see you in another one soon. Goodbye.